Now that we've gotten this far with this particular prop, it's definitely time to turn it into an HDA and get it over into Unreal so we can start testing the usability and just flexibility of uh, the particular uh, tool itself. So uh, what I'm going to do is right click on uh, the Geo node here. So this guy right here. And I'm going to say create digital asset. And I'm just going to say IP for the namespace. And then uh, 1.0 for a version number. All right, so that's Houdini's way of uh, versioning and keeping a namespace for all these things. I'll have to do a little bit more of a deep dive into namespacing and versioning here pretty soon. All right, so I'm just going to save this into my HDA folder here. And then uh, hit accept, and that will pop open the type properties window. So let's destroy all spare parameters. We don't need them. All right, so let's uh, just hide all the defaults here. Very cool. And really, all we need to do now, because we have a lot of our parameters are already set up, which is why I like doing this uh, more and more now, um, especially the larger your networks get. Um, I like to go through and just you know promote them from this control node here. And so what I do is I go and drag and drop a folder here, call this or make it collapsible. We'll call this the uh, global folder. It's good to name these things when you start uh, doing stuff with Python and exporting out settings for all these HDAs. And so that's why I have uh, started doing stuff like this. So now what you can do is just an alt middle mouse click and that will send this parameter from the control node here all the way over to the type properties. And then we can just uh, nest it in there like so. Then we can just move through all the rest of the uh, parameters. All right, so I'm just gonna drag and drop a, another folder out, make it collapsible. And this one's going to be our base, so base folder. And this is gonna be our base. And all we need to do is just uh, promote our parameters. There we go, and then just uh, drag, and drop, drag and drop them into the folder there. All right, so let's create another folder. And this one is gonna be our cabinet folder, or cab folder for short. All right, so this one uh, is interesting. I'm actually gonna clear out all my overrides here. All right, so it gets back to the default. Um, and you're, you're gonna wanna do that so that way you don't end up with a default uh, setting when you go and promote this particular uh, multi-parm. Right, all right, so let's, uh, Let's do this here. So I'm going to do an alt minimum mouse click for these guys. And then I'll show you the uh, multi-parm. So the nice thing about multi-parms is when it remembers all the parameters that are nested inside of it, right? So if you just promote this one guy, you get this whole folder, right? That's all the data that the uh, multi-parm needs. And so you can just drag and drop it under cabinet and it's all set up for you. So really nice, uh, well, quick way to get all this stuff figured out without having to make an HDA first. All right, so the next one is our counter. So let's do counter. And I need to make it collapsible. We'll do counter folder. There we go. And let's promote all of our parameters. So alt middle mouse click. You can bring up the separator if you want, or you can just uh, over here and drag and drop it in the middle. I believe I had one in the cabinet as well. Yeah. Let's just try to mimic that as much as possible. Or I should say mirror. There we go. Cool. All right. So then we just have to do our colors. So much, much faster. You kind of develop your parameters as you go, you know. All right, so then I want to do collapsible, and this is going to be our color folder and colors. And then just promote these guys and drag and drop them into that new folder. There you go. And now we have an HDA. Let's, oh, we need to set this to, I thought I set the cabinet to collapsible. Weird. Let's do that. There we go. Cool, so now we've got a uh, complete HDA with all the parameters. And uh, in Houdini Engine version 2, it pretty much mirrors what you get in here, which is great. You can really uh, get a one-to-one -one relationship. So 
with that said, let's uh, now get this into Unreal. <laughs>